Hi. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, we're on. Yeah, you you can hear us. Hello, uh, viewers. Welcome to uh, game two of the uh, Trans Tasman Test Series between Australia and New Zealand. This is the game between the uh, New Zealand uh, Kahu and the Australian Southern Terror. I'm Max Halden, uh, and I'm here with uh, Giordana Rock. Howdy doody. How are you going, Gio? Fabulous. Just got off of a flight from Japan this morning. Amazing. Ready to commentate this game. That's right. Came in, flew for this. Nice. Well, it's the Australians who are starting on offense in this game. Uh, they lost this morning to the New Zealand team on Universe Point. We're hoping for a strong start here as Carpenter has the disc. New Zealand with a tight zone. Uh, looks for another option. It's a nicer round to Mueller. Oh, and Mueller's pass just gets caught by the wind, but still live. Couldn't quite rail it, rein it in there, so New Zealand get a chance. Oh, nice block straight off the bat from the Australian team. And uh, it will be Banks picking the disc up. Oh, tries to hit a cheeky inside out straight off the bat. Little grin on her face. <laughs> But uh, New Zealand number 63 with the 62, rather. Beth Thompson. And I'm another block. Jeez. These Aussie girls are up for it. Yeah, I think they were probably inspired by the, uh, by the Australian boys who came out with a lot of intensity oh. and uh, just can't complete the pass there to Lovell. And uh, Crosby's going to pick up the disc. Looking deep. Oh. Deep shot. She's got a couple of girls going deep there. 15. Oh, wow. Svedston just missed it. Yeah, that was a nice chase down. Yeah. Just put her hand on the disc, but couldn't get underneath it, unfortunately. But they will get another chance here. Crosby's picking it up again to Parsons. She's looking for a dump. Oh, nice around. Oh, <laughs> Mueller. Nice um, interception. A massive block. And it's Carpenter with the disc. Not on with her twin. It's a, a rare occurrence from last game. Gets it around to number 14 on the sideline. Under from Mueller, but uh, just a miscommunication there. Mueller moved to the under space, the open side space. Ooh, number 25 there. Halliday. Looking at field now for a dump. Crosby. Yeah. Nice grab. Up line to... Oh. Wow, a bit of contact there up field. It looks like it's going to be an uncontested foul. Parsons has it. Oh, Parsons sees a nice up line. a good mark on the Aussie. Oh, oof. Just out the, but it is does go through the uh, the goal. So they are one nil up the, uh, on the soccer scoreboard, which is exciting for the New Zealand team. I'm sure they'll be happy about that. <laughs> so long first point, Geo. Definitely. Game clock says four minutes. We've been oh uh, we've been watching this one already, and uh, Australia has to work it up the full length of the field here still. How's the wind been today, Max? Swirly. Mm. Unpredictable. Mm. And uh, it did quieten down a bit for the boys' game, but we can still feel a little bit here. Huge undercut, but looked off for Mueller, though. Oh, nice from Banks. A nice big backhand side. Finds our receiver in tons of space, but just a stone-cold drop there. That was a really great view. 
look upfield, swing the disc. Here Crosby's got it again. Her fakes have got this mark moving all around. Oh, <laughs> cheeky little grab there. Foul, foul called. On the near sideline. Svitanovic. Yeah, we That's decided to go with. Great. Yeah. Last name. Svit. Svitanovic. Okay, Svitanovic. Yeah. Bless you. <laughs> All right. Uncontested. Looking up line inside. Oh, Ooh. nice to Crosby. Crosby's got a nice flick. Floaty up into space, and it's caught by Svedston. Yeah, that was nice. That was a similar, a little bit shorter field than that uh, huck we saw from the same combination with the great Svedston layout that uh, unfortunately wasn't yeah. completed. Let's see that again. Nice oh. inside by eight. And beautiful leading pass and great run down by Svedston. Yeah, so much space. Mm. Seems like they're going to be sending Svedson mm. quite a lot this game. I think you're probably right. And that inside to open the whole thing up right off the bat. Oh, visionary. beautiful. Visionary stuff. <laughs> when it comes off, it's visionary, right? Mm -hmm, that's it. That's it. <laughs> history. The winner, winners decide history. <laughs> history is written by the winners is the phrase that I believe I'm searching it. for. <laughs> that's the one. Right. Out. So, yeah, these are, as I mentioned before, these girls have played on a streamed game that you can... Uh, that you can watch on uh, Ultimate Australia's YouTube channel at your leisure. But uh, spoiler alert, it was uh, a victory for New Zealand. So they're one up in the, in the Trans-Tasman series. So this is a must-win game for Australia. If they want to keep the series alive till tomorrow. Yep. New Zealand pulls. Looks like it's going to land nicely in. Oh, man. I wish more people the caught zone. the pull. Yeah, and um, Carpenter now do doesn't have a lot of options. Gets another line to Reeve. Oh, Reeve winds up a huge backhand. Oh, Whoa. and it's caught by the Australian. Nice, and an, a cheeky little dump there. Emery's got the disc. Moves it back to Carpenter. Reeve's got it again. See what she looks for. It's a nice around. Moves the whole cup. Oh, couldn't quite jump it in. Emery knocking on the door now. Just outside. Reeve reads it really well. Oh, oh. but that last pass just too low to uh, number 57, Rachel Joyce, who we saw get a screamer of a grab in that deep space before. New Zealand may look to, to hit a deep shot here. Got a few defenders going deep. out of bounds. Out so of bounds. Australia's going to... Are you making fun of my accent? <laughs> I'm loving your accent. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a lot like the gong accent, actually. Oh, the one gong accent. Beautiful favorites. Australia, uh, Australia will get the disc right on the corner. We'll see what the play is here. Looks like they're going to isolate Reeve from the dump space. Classic. And she comes back on the inside. Oh, but they have a nice open cut. <laughs> that looks like number two. Yeah. That's Jess Emery. Beautiful score there. And uh, Terra, even the scores, one all. Ooh, nice little Perth connection there between two girls from, um, from WA. Both been playing a decent amount of time, two, two and a bit years now. So both the Carpenters are uh, coming back after having played uh, oh, both uh, the Emery, Emery and the Carpenters are coming back from uh, playing juniors in 2016 mm. in uh, in Poland. They getting them, getting them in young. Getting huh? them in young. I know. Can you imagine having played two and a half years <laughs> no. already and being 17 or 18 Definitely years old? Definitely not. Started at 19. There you go. Well, then you can't. You couldn't it's possibly crazy. imagine. Crazy. Yeah. But that's just how um, that's how well these junior teams are going these days. So. Got to get them in young. That's true. We can be wistful of, you know, <laughs> what was it like to be this, this age, you know? <laughs> A child. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's pulling? 33. Yeah, that's, uh, that is Kirsten Banks. 
uh, one of uh, what we call the Holy Trinity in the last game. Kirsten Banks, Avi Mueller, and um, Holly Reeve have all had have all had stunning games in the um, in the previous yes, match. Yes, excellent. So Thompson caught the pull. Now uh, Mintz has it. Back to Thompson. Oh, a little bit too much on there. To Parsons. Yeah, maybe thought it was for someone behind her. <laughs> no one is forthcoming. So it's Banks walking with purpose. Calls for the cuts, and here they come. Inside. Ah, challenging inside out, and the wind just sort of pushes it away from the receiver. Not a bad initiating move, but you know, as you said before, Geo, history written by the winners. Visionary if it comes off. I did say that. Mm. <laughs> oh, Banks has a good, uh, good mark. Oh, just a cold drop. Yeah. Chilling by Mance. All right, knocking on the door here, Australia. I bet you they're still going to do that same play up the line, ISO. Oh, there's a lot of chaos upfield now. It seems like a little bit of miscommunication looking cross field. Oof. Fortunately, that was straight into the wind. So Too much, but Australia will be happy. It's now one all in the soccer, which is very exciting. So what soccer? So you see the soccer posts behind the field. Both New Zealand and Australia have both thrown one pass through those soccer goals. So. Oh. <laughs> I think that should be worth three. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'd see a lot more passes out if that was the case. <laughs> uh, all right. This is Mance. Looking at field for a nice clean cut from Mercer. She's looking up line again. You know, it seems like they love playing it down these lines. Mm. Oh, <laughs> great D there. D. Yeah, and uh, definitely the preferred receiver. That was um, number six. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, we're definitely going to be seeing plenty of shots to um, to Spenston this game. Yeah. So it will be Australia picking it up. Not a lot forthcoming upfield. Dump comes around, fakes the continue. Looking back to the middle, still love those insides, but they're not coming off. Second turn from a similar position. So what's uh, the other time when it's not visionary, when it doesn't go off? When it doesn't come off? Yeah, uh, we're going to need a turn for that. That's our job to come okay. up with those ones, Gio. All right. That's what we're hired for. That's why we get paid the big bucks. Number 15, Svenston. Ooh, shooting it into the end zone and grabbed by number two. Yeah, looks like we're a little bit obscured vision-wise. The Terra girls are doing a very good job of a roaming sideline, but it's making it a bit difficult for the commentary box. Yeah, Mance had a little fingertip on that one. Jumping around active on the mark. Zia Palmer gets a nice little break around. It's Banks with the disc in the middle. Just trying to steady the ship a little bit. No one coming. Oh, hits Palmer with a nice, that's a visionary one. Yeah. That's another visionary These one. girls love the inside. Oh, and Sophie, so it's a deep one. Yeah. It's a great pass. Can they finish the job? Ooh. Uh, you know, um, we always talk about those uh, unappreciated plays, and I noticed number, what was that, 24 on New Zealand dropped off off the mark and marked somebody in the end zone, so they were forced to throw that other weird throw. Yeah, really good. Appreciate that 24 on New Zealand. All right, now, big punt. Oh, great grab there. Yep. Oh, she got low. She released it well to... Svitanovic. <laughs> I feel like I need to speak Russian for this. That's true. And yeah, apologies, obviously, for all the mangling. Yeah. But we do have a call on the field. May affect the result here. And it, they're just discussing it with the game advisors. A little confusing. The game advisors are wearing yellow shirts as well today. So confusing. But it is, the call is retracted. Goal is signaled. Excellent. That was such a beautiful, purposeful throw into the end zone, leading pass. Yeah, it's a really nice backhand, as you said, because yeah. it got so low. Perfectly weighted. Yeah. 
and not affected by any kind of swirly winds. So. No, exactly. Yeah, keep the wind out of it. You know, it can be a friend or your foe, and it certainly has been today for some of these players. Yep. So uh, thank you for tuning in to the um, the stream. Uh, I presume everyone's watching this live and not watching the AFL Grand Final. Cause, oh, yeah, yeah, obviously. Why would you? Especially beautiful Sydney. Hashtag greatest Sydney, city on earth. Uh, Debatable. Well, you know, we can, we can discuss that later. <laughs> but uh, it's been good. Uh, plenty of people taking time out for their long weekend to come and watch the games. Yeah, uh, a lot weekend. of locals here. Plenty of people Cook. watching. Some people just stop in their cars on the drive past and uh, having a little gander. Yep. Walking their dogs. Yeah, a lot of confused people. So who, who's all. coaching the Aussie women? It's a great question. Uh, so we have uh, Cron, mm -hmm. Kieran Hudson, um, in the uh, identifiable watermelon bucket hat. Excellent. Uh, Sarah Perkins, who isn't, uh, couldn't be here today, okay. unfortunately. Um, and also uh, Madeline O'Connor is uh, assisting. Okay. As is They're in good hands. I know. Very As good. is um, Anna Haynes. Okay, excellent. So seems like all um, Barr and Haynes have played either juniors themselves mm. or at least under 23. So they know how important these kind of campaigns are mm. on people's careers early on. Yeah, so true. So Reeves picks it up. Yeah, and gets it underneath. Direct forehand. Says, goes back to Reeve. See what gets... Nothing coming up field. Again. Oh, Lovell looked off on the under. That's a bit of a roll reversal with Mueller and uh, mm. Reeves there. Yeah, though I'm, I think they're both pretty happy to send it both ways. Mm. Just looking inside. Oh, some deep shots coming, but. So Reeve poached off there. Oh, no. oh, to a curl right in front of the end zone. It's number 52. Forsyth. Forsyth, the youngest player out there on the field. She's only 14 years of age. Whew. But she had the foresight to know that that <laughs> disc was coming. <laughs> and number true. 12 caught the goal, Crosby. That was such a really good uh, dump, stomp swing score classic but it still works yeah and just as we watch again oh the Australians just all underneath it and Forsyth as you say positioned herself well hit the dump open side bit of Dylan Freechild action Beautiful. love that up the line love it Whoa, she held off her spike. That's good control. I know. Man. And not easy, as we all love spikes. But, you know, it's not, uh, not within the spirit of the game sometimes. That's a really good question, though, is, isn't it? <laughs> is believe, it within the spirit of the game or not? I believe rude and aggressive spikes are the things we're trying to avoid. Rude and aggressive. Yeah. But what if it's, like, just celebratory, like... Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, that's probably fun. Probably the, the okay. issues you get are when it's, yeah, that was amazing. You, you suck. suck. <laughs> yeah, you can't spike it in someone's face. Don't do that. And we've, we've all seen it happen before. Accidentally. And deliberately. <laughs> 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 but uh, not today. The spirit today has been really impressive. Yeah, every time there's a call, people discuss it quickly and they come to a solution. It's been really good. Yeah, we've seen a number of retracted calls and, um, yeah, been very, very impressed by the maturity shown by the players on the field. So, Mueller gets it. The Holy Trinity is all on here as New Zealand throw a zone. It's Lovell. Oh, sneaks a pass through to Reeve. Sorry, not Lovell, number 38. Oh. It's Mueller, Reeve. They're moving it up now. They still will be happy to one-two it a little further. Nice fake. Banks in the middle, steadies the ship. Mueller, oh, pushes the pace a little bit and the throw gets dropped. Yeah, Mueller was working that all across the field. It was really good movement. Yeah, a bit of zigzagging. Mance looking upfield. Oh, oh, wow. Nice grab. That was Mercer. Oh. 
Oh, nice. Holly does enough to break it up. Sivirinic just barely touched that one. Yeah, and just amazing composure to catch that with a little bit of contact and then just throw that pass, but mm. Reeve did a nice job of covering that space. Oh, so New Zealand with a zone. Coming out, trying to force a few more passes. Yeah, so the puppy was biting a lot more before, so Alva could get it around, but... Yeah, no, she looks for the... Um, over the top. Yeah, and it's a tough position to be in if you're a handler in that, you know, weak side corner. Got an open play in New Zealand. So. Yeah. And they hit it. So Thompson to... Number 16. 16, that's Zoe Rizner. Yeah, wow, so New Zealand. And this is a story of the first game as well. 4-1 really? was indeed the score. A score with New Zealand up last game too. And then Australia came back. They did, they did. And won it? They didn't win. They got to universe but did not win. All right, ladies, let's do this. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. That is... It, in it's my American accent. <laughs> Works. It's, it's nice of coming from, you know, I'm an, here out, to an outsider, you know. <laughs> so have you seen improvement from the last game from the Aussies side? The Aussies do seem to be struggling a little bit. I think one thing we noticed in the, the Thunder game that we just watched is the boys came out a little bit more confident. Mm. Uh, they were sure of the connections, and it, I think that really paid dividends for them at the first half and allowed them to carry through that momentum to the second half. We haven't really seen the same thing from the Australians here. I think they're still exhibiting the same sort of nerves we saw at the start of the um, of the first game. Kind of yeah. getting slow to get into their pace a little bit. Exactly, and okay. uh, you know, they did bring it bring it back to evens by the end of the last game, but you know, it's not, you don't want to be that team that has to dig yourself out of holes every time. Yeah, it's good to know they can. That's so true. Crosby with the pull, that's a really good pull into the end zone. Again, it's Carpenter and Banks who work it up. Carpenter gets a little bit caught, but uh, works her way through it. So, uh, Yannick. What a great wide mark. Yeah, really yeah. nice. By oh, South. and they have outrageous <laughs> grab. Fingertips from Carpenter. Fakes an under. Oh, and sells the mark. Yeah. <laughs> Mark's got a cheeky grin. Oh, miscommunication. Broken up by New Zealand. Parsons got amongst it right there. Oh, no one's seen the New Zealand player streaming to the end zone. Holiday. Number 18 on that sideline. Liddell to Zhao. Board. 12 pushes. Oh, oh, great dump defense, but there is a foul called. It's a nice read on the play there by number eight. So we watch it again. Hard to see from this angle exactly uh, what happened with the contact. Looks like it's going to be contested. So it'll be Zhao tapping it, well, Banks rather tapping it back in for Zhao. Mm. She's looking up line, not initiating the dump early. And again, great oh, dump no. and great grab yeah. by Parsons. Just can't complete the defense, the Australian team. Inside throw, that was great. Oh. Wow. Could have been a visionary. Could have been visionary. From Doyle. We still, really need, an, good we still need the anti-visionary. Other than a turnover. What about Tempestuous? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Tempestuous? Do I mean Tempestuous? I don't actually know what either of those mean. Tempestuous means like a tempest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving that. <laughs> I love it. Tempestuous. Okay, well, let's, let's do it. Yeah. Nice around there. Oh, Ooh. Mercedes. Wow, picks it up. <sighs> Amazing really knows grab. knows how to get the heart going. Yeah, I'll tell you what. These Australian girls are not short on athleticism. That's right. This Carpenter Banks creates a lot of space for herself with a big fake. 
Mercedes having to work hard for these unders. It's a nice up the line there. Got a deep shot available, looks it off. Bit of chaos in front of the disc though. Mercedes running the show here. Every second pass going to her. Oh. And then the up the line. They're just short of the end zone now. There's a bit of traffic. Flick comes off. And, and swing. Bang. That is where you want it. Yes. Wow. What a nice perfect grab. pass to Sophie. Sophie, whose surname we didn't find out in that break. Is she the one from SA? She is indeed from okay. South Australia. Yes, What's that mean? She's been playing for two years. And... Uh, She's really excited to uh, just to be playing with a bunch of girls her age. There's obviously not a lot of youth ultimate in South Australia. Uh, or it's developing. A lot of great youth athletes, but uh, yeah, working on building the league. So just excited to be out amongst the girls today. Love it. Love the enthusiasm. Multi-sport athlete, of course. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Won a, um, won a gold medal with school nationals playing volleyball. She's represented South Australia in basketball as well twice actually I'm seeing here that's true and was part of uh, something called the national intense training program which I mean it sounds intense <laughs> <laughs> it does doesn't it <laughs> wow you really got to be dedicated and I think that kind of motivation and determination is going to be really good to help out these girls you know get get onto the podium this year that is very very true so it's 4-2 to New Zealand Australia would be looking to uh, maybe get a bit of a break here because certainly need one. Here we go. Bit of a short pull. Cross B to oh, a match disc. Yeah, Raya Carpenter grabs it out of the air. around looking for the inside here oh, hit the open carpenter again not seeing a lot that she likes at the moment eventually opens it up but a pick was called was on the receiver so we're going to go back to carpenter So it's Raya Carpenter with the disc. No dump. Here, finally one opens up. Uh, she soots it. It's probably oh, a stall nine. Super. And uh, comes, hits the ground. What was the word we came up with? Uh, that was tempestuous, I believe. Super tempestuous. Yeah. Hard on a stall nine situation. I know. All right. Mr. Risner, great grab. Throwing it up line. To Forsyth, to Sheridan. Plenty of love being given Mercer. on that mark. Mercer's looking to go up line, dump it. Nice, great cut by Crosby. Just pushes it a little past the receiver. It's a nice move from um, from number twelve. Yeah, Crosby. Yeah, Crosby, but yeah, tough. She had a bunch of space up line with that great cut momentum, power position. Um, but sometimes that throw is just not on. Yeah. Have to dump swing or go to the other side of the field. Yeah, but it feels good to throw to the end zone, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. <laughs> love it. Hammer into the wind. <laughs> Bit of chaos up field. Who's number 14? Dumps engaged. Oh, great break throw. Yeah, that's nice. That's Palmer who gets it upfield. Oh, Amazing and the soot momentum. is on. It needs to hold a little bit. Yeah, tough one. As we watch it again, huge wind up. Nice step forward, but ends up with too many wee picks. <laughs> oh, another big soot. Oh, lay out, lay out, lay out, lay out. Oh, jeez. Oof. That's um, Mercer just misses it, but that was a really great um, put. Yeah, New Zealand is opening up a lot of that deep space with a horror, which mm. is really nice. So 
So Australia, another opportunity. Oh, Whoa. geez. That looks like a fastball straight to the gun. <laughs> yeah, Emery takes one. It's all right. Number two has six, a six pack. Yeah, all, all that right, all the strength and conditioning paying off. That's right. Crosby picking it up. Very safe throw. That was a really good look. Um, oh, it's uh, there's a confusion on the mark actually of what the force is. A different force there. This is Mercer. Oh, and a block. Just hits the ground. As we see, another little inside look here. There is space. Oh no, oh. just a cold drop. Dang. Now. New Zealand's given Australia a little bit of a chance to catch up. Yeah, it's been a real point this one, as Palmer gets it over on the sideline. The Aussies are actually working it down the break side a little bit more, which I'm happy about. Mm. It's opening up space. Oh, oh great block. But there is Call. a foul called. Uncontested. Nice. Quickly and efficiently Good. resolved. We're gonna say. Yep. Yep. Here we go. So. Next shot. Oh, gets wow. a nice little break. That was cheeky. Oh, Big and a soot. Put. And Short. caught by Risner. Parsons has it now, looking upfield, looking for a dump. Very quick on the dump look, which is great. Crosby yeah. picks it up. Oh, ho. holsters wow. that. Really great idea. Oof. Being conservative. That's really nice. Nice. And um, Forsyth caught it. Caught the goal. And it's um, Crosby's up the line cuts are really breaking the Australian defense at the moment. Mm. She had a few different girls on her and yep. just her back move and then forward, she's just getting it at will. She's just getting open by a couple of steps every single time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, now she's starting to really holster that next throw. And it's definitely benefiting New Zealand. Totally. And that's well, what's... What's the score now? It's now 5-2, New Zealand. <sighs> oh, so what happens if the Aussies don't win today? Uh, Do everybody flies home. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are they having a party tonight? Uh, yeah, I believe uh, the uh, you know uh, but they are mostly under eighteen. So uh, I meant like a board game. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, big Scrabble board game, big Scrabble night. Um, I Twister. believe they will still play it. It will be a dead rubber, of course, in terms of who will win the Trans Tasman series. Okay. But but so they're still going to play tomorrow? They'll come back tomorrow for sure. How many games tomorrow? Uh, there's one boys game, one girls game, and uh, one uh, game with the Australia A squads, um, which is the uh, development teams uh, okay. for both the boys and the girls. Um, cool. Are those new this year? They are. They are new this year. They've just introduced them. Um, bring more people along for the campaign, help youth development, and uh, by all accounts, it's been a roaring success so far. A lot of, mm. a lot getting, a lot of people getting a lot out of it. Um, I bet. To see. You don't get this kind of coaching all the time. It's amazing to get that in the early development years. Mueller, oh, really such great a nice starter step. Classic Mueller forehand. And it comes great off. Great grab. Centimeters from the end zone. She's looking for the breakthrough. Nope, dump oh, to Mueller. Bookends. Yeah, nice little, uh, little. I guess that was visionary. That, that throw was visionary. Was very visionary. Not really a Mueller sandwich. Te technically, it's a number eight sandwich with Mueller bread, I believe. <laughs> but uh, I mean, when you've got a flick like that, it's a shame to not use it. Hey. I've seen her throw it way further, though. I mean, that's true. There is it's a, a bit short of wind. field, so is a bit of wind still in mm -hmm. Sydney. Uh, did a bit of a classic Max Howland there, which is uh, throw it, throw your receiver just about a meter outside the end zone. Even is though that right? Just always coming up short. Even though you could maybe just throw it a bit longer. Yeah, there's always there's always leaving a little bit to be desired. <laughs> so that you can go and score yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's the meta game going okay. through the whole thing. Yeah, nobody, the, no one remembers who the assist was. <laughs> of course not. It's, it's whoever gets to spike elegantly and um, sportsman-likely. Sportsman-likely, yeah. Sportswoman-likely. So that was nice there from the history. Chanstrom? Chanstrom. Chanstrom? Yeah. 
amazing. What number is that? 23. Does that spell it right? There's an R there, but it's not yet. It's Charnstrom. All right, Reeve pulls it. Nice. Deep pull, and it's caught by New Zealand. So it gives them a second or two ahead. They can move it, good movement. Still, man. You know, um, all Australia hasn't actually played his own yet, have they? Uh, no, I, not, I believe they may have played one the very first point, but I don't think we've seen one since. New Zealand are really using this Horo quite well. Oh! oh ho, ho, ho. Big block from Australia, number six. That's really nice, though. Oh, really I could good watch block. that all day. Oh. <laughs> a lot of pressure. Okay, so. Again, we've got the one dump out. Downey there. walking up. Oh, geez. Ooh. Almost picked up, but uh, quickly went from visionary to tempestuous. Tempestuous. Definitely ended up as tempestuous. Not a bad look, but probably needed to come out at least a second earlier. Um, or a scuba. Also a valuable option. Oh. Oh, Reeve has such a great wide mark. Oh, oh. no. Self D. Unfortunate miscommunication. So it will be Australia now with an opportunity. It's 3 5 to get a break here. Ooh, it's a deep stack, actually. Yeah, it's very giving deep. A lot of space. We'll okay. see if they're going to isolate a player. There's two cuts coming. Lovell goes for the open side, but doesn't get it. Oh, and just floats it over Mercedes' oh. head. She's very close. She's but fine. She's She's not agreed. Call it. Did not catch it. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Australia missed an opportunity on a short field turn, and we'll see what happens for New Zealand. What a shot! Oh my God! Oh wow! Beautiful. Yes, that deserves a clap. A clap. Let's see the replay on yeah. that. That was just such a great fake. Pulled Reeve. Deep shot, beautiful sitting, open space. Well read, and then I love the confidence at the in. end. Just yeah. to lead out, number 15. Svenston. Svenston to Svidanovic. These are fantastic to last names. Yeah, really good use of V in the second position of surname. Mm. Very Svengali-like. So, New Zealand, geez, you thought Australia might have had a chance there to get back within one, 5-4. But that pulls it out to 6-3 to New Zealand. Oh, man. Well, it's only 6-3. It's true. It's true. So, yeah, the... Um, they were down by um, that much in the first game. That's true. That's they true. they came back. Exactly. So, we could see it here again today. Wow, so many supporting um, athletes here today on the sideline. So, this includes that... Uh, yeah, the Australia A squad. A squad. Awesome. What so, a pull. Yeah, really nice. Wow. They took your advice and caught it this time. There we go. Gio they must be listening. <laughs> exactly. New Zealand Finally. back out with the zone again. Zone. Moving in nicely now, Australia. Well, they are getting closer to this sideline. Now, their puppy was biting on a lot of stuff last time. Mm, this time, it seems to clamp down a little bit. Just an unfortunate drop. But still, it's nice moving from the Australians. I'll be a bit buoyed by that, I think. So right. Yep. Thompson. Still looking up. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. And an inside there. That, was, that must have been stall seven, eight. Mm. Yeah, but it's smart move to come back on the inside there. Absolutely. It's a classic. Uh, really, really good cut. And uh, good discipline by the stack to give her space to do it as yeah. well. She goes up line, comes back for that inside nicely. They respect the ISO and backs her up. Yeah, it's really good. So, New Zealand. Look at that spike, R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Yeah, and I just found out what it means. To, to you? To me. 7-4, <laughs> um, Geo. Four-point lead now. Oh, jeez. You know what I told people last time? Tell me. Don't switch this off. All right, if you're thinking, this game is over. Don't say that. Don't even think that. 
Because why did you just say that? I'm just. I'm, this game is on. That's exactly. This game is on. That is my point. That's right. Last time. Australia's just warming up. Four point gap turned into a zero point gap. Oh dang! So and I think it's going to happen again here today. I've got faith that this game is going to once again down to the wire. Go down in her story. I love that. All right. Uh, short pull. Mueller picking it up. Looking upfield as always. And actually dumps straight away. Looking for Reeve. Reeve is so quick. Getting open. And this is a 2-3-2, two, two, I think. Yeah, looks, looks like, like it. Oh, no. Oof. A little bit of a fumble there. Unfortunate. Just bounced off the hand of Yelenik. Great communication from the New Zealand players. Really authoritative and confident. Again. Oh, oh great backup. Picked up from number 25 in the stack. That's Halliday. 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 <laughs> oh, 19. wow. Reeve hunting a that block. Was Parsons. New Zealand knocking on the door of a half time, taking half 8 3 here. Oh, that inside move. Which opens oh, up the break side. Dang, and that's the halftime. Wow. Halliday scores. So many good visionary throws mm. that were purposeful, greatly communicated. Um, just seems like they've really kind of found their rhythm. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, just the confidence of those inside passes. I think it's been certainly the story. Yeah. See okay, that so. leading pass saved nicely by Halliday. And then. Uh, as the play continues, we see a beautiful upline back to inside, which just gives her an gorgeous. acre of space in the back for the backhand break. And her receiver is more than willing to oblige. <laughs> so that is... She's holding on to the disc a long time, actually. She's not even going to spike it. No, She's no. just holding it. Yeah, yeah. Well, yep, half, I'm taking this home. She can, she can have it for five, five or more minutes. Man. So it's 8-3, Geo. Yep. Yes, it is. 8-3. Could have blown out a little bit. Could get blown out a little bit, I was going to say. Sorry. Mm. Uh, so um, have you seen anything specifically different, uh, you know, from the last game from New Zealand to this game? Because I notice now it seems like they're getting into their rhythm. Their throws are really hitting their targets mm. purposefully. Did they have the same kind of, uh, you know, direction last game, or did it take them a while to get into it? Yeah, it, certainly there were nerves on both sides um, in the last game, but New Zealand kind of weathered the storm a little bit, certainly by using those deep connections. And mm, I think we, s as we can see here in one yeah, of the yeah, replays, that, that oh, really nice pass to Svensson. Yeah, and I mean, I think we've seen New Zealand, although it's not like the Australians haven't had their opportunities as well. That nice. Soot from Holly Reeve. So, I mean, but by contrast, the Australians' deep throw, deep game hasn't been as strong mm. this game, and New Zealand has really, really had that confidence in their receivers yeah. that has um, that's been paying dividends for them. You know, I'd, I'd also say it looks as though Australia hasn't done as good a job at sort of isolating space for both their handlers and for their maybe primary cutters. Mm. There's a few more people in movement upfield. Yeah, and we actually sat quite a few times with the um, end zone play. So they want to ISO one person, but it's almost like they don't know who is going to go first. Yep. So um, it ends up creating a little bit of confusion. And part of that is the challenge, of course, of trying to play, uh, trying to play offense after multiple turns. Yeah. Um, you know, we've been seeing that more and more that a lot of these points have really have had quite a few turns on it and it's um it's hard hard to know exactly who needs to do what in those situations not as easy after not as easy after so many um so many opportunities who's tired who's ready who's the primary cut who was right. the primary cut so max do you know how long they've been training so uh this is uh really sort of almost not quite the first time this team's come together but uh they did come off a two-day training camp together so they've done two days of 
Did they take school off or something? It's school holidays, my friend. Okay. Yeah. The life of a student. I know exactly. Beautiful. So um, a few of them, uh, a few of them played a few days of uni games, uh, oh, yeah. and then came back for this. Whereas, uh, but most of them, yeah, happy to uh, take a few extra days in school holidays to uh, to come down and train together. So yeah, lots of um, lots of structures and new skills that they're trying to work on. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can definitely see them trying to figure it out, you know? Yep. You can, uh, and uh, the one, the thing that you want to see as a coach, I think, of these teams is really, really you executing the switch as well, but not necessarily having that full execution, you know? Drops, you right. can fix. Absolutely, you know? yeah. But at least showing how um, they're learning and applying the new techniques that they need to be learning. But the other thing is, Something that happens just by playing more together is the connections. So we already see a natural connection between Reeve and Mueller. Um, who is the third in that trifecta that you were saying? Uh, Banks. And Banks? Yes. Um, but you need to play through the whole team. So true. Everybody brings a lot of different um, attributes to the plays. So they're mm -hmm. figuring that out. It's very true. And it's sort of merging a couple of styles mm -hmm. together as well. As a, a lot of these girls have played. Uh, before um, uh -huh. together in, in the previous juniors campaign. I think we counted about 10 or 11 last time. Whoa. But, uh, but yeah, obviously. Yeah, 11, I heard. Yeah, integrating those new players in, uh, it's sometimes it just feels like a new team. Yeah, and you'd hope so. You know, having um, this year create their own new kind of culture for this campaign um, and building on what they had last campaign. Mm -hmm. Very true. Anyway, still a lot of enthusiasm out there. You can see the Australian girls still want it. I don't think they're going to give this one up without a fight. I think Kron's the most excited. <laughs> he brings a lot of energy, I mean, he? that's true. But <laughs> is there any time that you haven't seen Kron the most excited about anything? <laughs> no, especially with that hat on. <laughs> yeah, he's ready for this evening as well. He's ready for that Scrabble party. Scrabble. Have to bring that dictionary. Yep. All right, so we're pretty much ready to kick off here. It'll be the Australians pulling from left to right of your screen, starting on defense. Holly Reeve chasing it down in New Zealand, starting with the disc. It's number 12. Cosby. Lance gets it. Ooh, Australia coming out with a poachy zone set here. And a bit of a wider cut we're seeing. Sideline is like massive compared to last half. Yeah, you can hear the noise. So has much been, excitement has been increased, and they get a nice block there as a result. And Mueller shoots on zero. Visionary, definitely visionary. <laughs> a lot of times, Mueller looks for for passes that she'd like to catch in the end zone. Mm, very She's true. Like, hmm, who else can uh, reach up high like me? Yeah, and the that answer is the answer is Rachel Joyce. Beautiful catch. Uh, Put her hand right in the air, and the disc just fell into it. Totally. Joyce, one of the uh, one of the Canberra girls on the team. She's uh, oh wow, playing for G Troop this year at uh, Mixed Nationals and cool. uh, with Factory uh, in the women's season. How long has she been playing? Would you believe four years? Oh my god! I know, and only 17 years old. So. Whoa! Uh, how do people even start at that young age? Yeah. What are you doing? I don't know. I think I learned to walk at 12. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty impressive. I had my bot mitzvah at 13. <laughs> I was like, woo. Totally. And okay. um, of course, uh, won her netball grand final this year in overtime. So she's used to pressure situations, you know, used to coming out on top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you could see that with that, uh, that crisp catch. Absolutely. What about her game against Slovakia? Yes. They, um, scored the w universe point against Slovakia at uh, the junior championships in Poland. Wow. So that's it. She's a big game player. And uh, there's no... She's here to play. This is well, a this is Reeve a is here to sprint. Yeah, I'll tell you and what. intimidate. Hungry for it. Oh, and a lot of pressure on that first oh, pass. Oh, and it works. Oh, that's huge. That is great, that intensity, without even touching the disc. God, isn't that great to see? I'd call that a visionary D. Oof, yeah. Winning it with your legs. So, Banks on the sideline. Who's she going to look for? Oh, the open pass. It's gold. Excellent. 
Wow, and just like that, the hole looks a little bit more that's, shallow. That's right. This game is on. Mm. This game is on. We're on. <laughs> we're at eight. New Zealand five. didn't know it was coming. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I wonder what they had at the halftime. A little bit, bit flat footed. Of Gatorade. Yeah. Man. A bit of red cordial. Yeah. Seeing the guys getting in there as well, supporting the Aussie ladies. Yep. Yeah, you can tell it's an important moment for the uh, for the girls. Really want to keep this momentum here now. And it's interesting to see that first change up re really did a, did wonders, and then that chase down. We just saw um, saw Reeve. Reeve, uh, just hustling down and backed up really well by um, number 21 as well, who uh, who forced that D. Just impressive stuff. It makes a difference, doesn't it? It absolutely does. Mentally, um, you know, I've heard a lot more recently. Mental game. It's true. It really, really makes or breaks a, a team, yep. a point, a game, a match, a world campaign. It's so true. Can be the difference between winning and losing. Absolutely. In fact, more often than not, it is. So. Never been said better. Here right. we go. Uh, and New Zealand lets the pole drop, lets people get set. Crosby's seeing it's a 2-3-2. Two, two. She puts it, looking for it. Oh, no. Oh, uh, number 19 got that one. Parsons. Oh, it was uh, tempestuous. Tempestuous for sure. Worth noting that that's another goal for New Zealand in the soccer game. So it's now 2-1 New Zealand. Man, do the, do the big they're up on both points. Yeah. As we watch the huck again, Mueller just not quite in the right place for the D and exploited nicely by Parsons. Good box out mm. by the fake receiver. <laughs> Good defense here by the New Zealanders, keeping Australia in that corner. It's Banks Really the active disc. on that mark, number 25, Halliday. Oh, and and gets pressure the to throw. Now they're knocking on the door to greatness. That's true. Crosby's picking it up. Oh, streaking deep is eight. Nice, easy peasy. Open side, Mueller Open won't be side. too happy with that. Does that thing where you know when you trip over and you look behind you as though there was like some kind of rock there, even though you tripped over your own feet. <laughs> Does a bit of those ones. Oh yeah. But uh, she was kind of like, wait, was that a? Oh what? no. Oh, is that open side? That was oh. a goal. Uh, was there something? Was that? Well. I think you guys. Oh well. Well. Ooh, was that my Rask. rats? Rats. Lay out D next time. I know. Can't be too hard on her. She's uh, certainly one of the best players out there at the moment for the uh, for the Aussies. So, yep. steadying the ship there, New Zealand. Just uh, stop the bleeding at uh, at two quick breaks. He's like calm, cool, collected, specific, strategic instructions. Yes. Everybody sit down, get off the field. <laughs> Certainly New Zealand okay. New Zealand coach Ian Stewart, he's been um, coaching the New Zealanders for many, many years. He's also heading to the 2018 World Ultimate Club Championships with Thank um, you. his mixed team. Marvelous DC. And he wants to give a shout out to his, uh, to his wife. Oh, beautiful, Rebecca who's also an ultimate player and administrator and without whose support he couldn't do what he does. That's right. Uh, so thanks, Rebecca. Shout out to all the supportive partners who make Ultimate possible. Absolutely. Oh, Ooh. good dude. Yes, not in though. Just outside. Centimeters difference here. Oof. Ooh. And uh, certainly no love lost on that this mark. This is a no-contact sport, ladies. Yeah. That's, uh, that's an NFL-type uh, type contact there. Let's leave the swans to their own thing, people. So it's, it's uncontested. It'll be coming back in. Yep. Back on zero. And again, great spirit. Tiny hole. It's a little bit muddled looking for dump. Good gets it off to one. Calls for the space, and it's a goal for the Australians. Yep, little communication goes a long way. Yeah, nice, uh, nice move. Yeah, she it, gets space. I love that Raya. Yeah, calls her players out. Yes, calls move out of the way, ladies. Because we need some space here. I would like here. to throw into that, which she does. 
It's a stats game. That's it. But that's exactly what we were pointing out before, where a couple of people were going at the same time, and it was uh, crowding the space a bit too much. And here's another replay. Um, As we watch that, that beautiful first, up line. Yeah, that first huck that made it all possible. A lot of great separation. Yeah, really nice. So it's worth um, worth mentioning that uh, yeah, a few of these players already have their eyes on um, the World Ultimate Club Championships, uh, including uh, Abby Liddell. So she'll be playing with Ian Stewart on that um, on the marvelous DC uh, New Zealand mixed team, which is uh, amazing that they're looking at that kind of campaign straight off the back of a a world's campaign such as this one. But it shows you the, the kind of options that some of these elite players have these days. They're yeah. addicted to ultimate, man. That's it. Straight to my veins. <laughs> Give me that hit of ulti. Yeah. So, Australia. Pulling to the New Zealanders. Holly Reeve stands ready. Crosby looking up field still. Wow, the Aussies have a really good defense on this. A little bit of an undercut that comes off to 16. Both her dumps are actually wide open. But she chooses that one, which is great swing. Wow. Whoa. And that's why they call it a flick. Yeah, number 52, Forsyth, again. Having that Forsyth. Yeah, Forsyth by name, Forsyth by nature. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Let's that's, see that again. This, I mean, when we talk visionary, oh, Geo. Man. This is it. I mean, Ooh. the Ooh, spot here, dog. as we watch that move... Very nice move. Puts a defender behind her. Really well placed. And Forsyth has to put it all in to catch it. Yeah, and can you believe only 14 years of age? Forsyth. Forsyth. Oh, my goodness. Youngest player on the team. Yep. Wow. So. I guess there's not much else you can do in Australia, like, if you're under 18, you have the same rights, right? You can Oh, you can drive. Yeah, we can drive. At 60. Yeah, you start the start the learning process. Okay. Yeah, I don't think she can. It depends if she's 14 and nine months. I believe is the youngest you can be to be employed. Whoa. Yeah. So. Man, oh man. I know, but hey. I'm loving those cornrows though. Yeah. I, she like definitely has the most baller haircut. So amazing. Did she also play basketball or no? Uh, no, netball, actually. Oh, She's a, wow. an elite netballer. These women have such great athleticism. Yeah, and unbelievable sports resumes, hey. It's incredible. Okay, so New Zealand back at it again with this zone, trying to stuff the momentum of the Australians. But Reeve moves it nicely. See a few fakes, nicely ditched off. Yeah, and Reeve gives and goes, wants it back. Ooh, Ooh. touch by the puppy. Tight space here. Reeve is gonna get in. So is a Chanstrom. Chanstrom Whoa, gets it over the top. That is a break. And they get it back. New Zealand. New Zealand. Gives it a flick. Oh, but uh, Crosby's laughing at her own throw. But yeah. it was a good idea, Crosby. We liked it. Yeah, a lot of smiles on the field when um, <laughs> when they're making mistakes. They're yeah. still in learning mode, which is very exciting. Now, it'll be interesting. Australia's got a player very deep. I feel like if Reeve looks up, she m might have a big backhand huck at a late stall. But instead. Wisely moves it to the middle of the field. It's just that Risner's like a foot taller than. Yeah, and it's a definitely 11. a factor. Risner and a lot of these New Zealand girls very tall. Oh, Holly Reeve, Reeve did look at her actually. Yeah, moving out the field now, making Risner be honest. A lot of the Aussie girls staying close with it. Reeve takes more meters. To the inside, close to the sideline with Banks. Oh, number 88 almost yes, gets a block for New Zealand. Reeve, very happy to be here. It's bit, although you have to say the wall is very, very close. Very close. Definitely, if we would say probably, probably 3.1 meters, as they, as they say. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is going, going to go back. 
up there. No, they're just going to bring it in here. Crosby's going to pick it up. Yeah, we're going to have to go back a few meters. Disc will come in. Unmarked player. That was number eight. Savijanic. Oh. Great grab by 88. That's Mance. Another oh, great Carson's. grab on the sidelines. Bit of pressure awesome. here She's now. Not, not forcing it up the line. Oh, until that last moment. But it's a catch. Oh. Savinovich. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's a... Uh, I mean, that must have been late stall count situation. Whew. Really great dump defense, really nice upfield work, but then a moment of brilliance from Savinovich. Mm. I would say not as much visionary as it was lucky. Yeah. Great receiver. And as we watch it again, it. see big <laughs> late for stall the dump. count. Where is the dump? It's, it's covered chaos by Reeve. Here. I'll oh. just throw it. Oh. And uh, Savinovich. Reeve almost got in there again. I know. But uh, New Zealand come away with the cookies there, so it's 11-6. <laughs> New Zealand. I wonder how much time's left in this game. Well, we're 61 minutes in, and we're playing 80 minutes, so. Okie dokie, that's great. Where do you get this intel? Oh. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. So. Um, For those playing at home, it's 61-13 now. <laughs> Make sure you set your watches. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> to ultimate time. Yeah, the time cap and the beep will be. <laughs> so, Australians now need to uh, put another offense in to get another chance at a break. Keep the momentum rolling. And they're off. Great pull. A really great Mueller pull. Mueller catches it with no problem. Carpenter takes the WA three-step, a few meters through that zone. This is a new zone, actually, a new puppy. Yeah, they're definitely very close, putting a lot of pressure. It's a we great bid. Svedson. Great bid from Mercedes, but you can't reel it in. Quick pickup. Looking for the... Oh, oh yoink. wow. Carpenter, bit of a... Takes the, takes the extra meters. But she'll be happy with that. Nobody complains about it. Mueller unleashes the backhand. But hey, that guy's not playing. <laughs> does not start in the field. That guy fancies himself as a bit of an ultimate player. <laughs> I can tell. He's got the barbecue backhand ready to go. <laughs> so moving it up a little bit. Crosby's picking it up. And Sheridan's handling with her. I get the sense New Zealand has a chance to really seal it. They get this one in. It's going to be very, very hard for the Australians. Just, just go straight away. Oh, and the wind is definitely the friend of the Australians in that one. Tough pass, but uh, a yeah. strong gust. You probably don't want to try and throw it up line on the side the wind is going. That's the only issue. It's true. Hard to, uh, hard to cram it in that cram hole, as they say. That is what they say. And we're going back to the same point, because, of course, it was right on the sideline before. Straight away. Right on Zero the count. Throw it out. <laughs> so it's Carpenter. Jogs and hits exactly the wow. same pass. Same, same, same. But this time... Oh! Wow, Crosby came in. And there is a foul called. Oh, wow, that and was a really good defense. Yeah, uncontested it's looking like. Um, just a discussion, I guess, on the field happening. Okay. As we watch it again, this goes deep. Frisbee's thrown down on the ground. And oh, the the uh, the New Zealand player does do a great job of going up, but does mm. looks like she doesn't really touch it, and then on her way down causes quite significant contact with the Australian player. Right. Okay. Which uh, I think is probably the fair result there. Yeah. Impinge the Australian player quite significantly. Mm. So it'll be Australia's disc on the end zone line. Svedsen's on the mark. And oh, here it comes. Shot. It's a oh no. Oh no. Just a little bit of a It's a heartbreaker. Turbulent. It's turbulent. <laughs> it was I mean, yeah. Buckle up. And the shot will come no problem. Wow, they're just who cares? Throw it. 
Oh yes, those gloves are sticky. <laughs> yes. Such a nice grab here. That was a really nice grab. Yeah, New Zealand now. Just looking for a dump up line. Ooh, Mueller comes in for the So well read from Mueller. Nice experience. There, oh, there's a call. A call. Waiting on signals from the players, a bit unclear. Nope. I think we're, we're going with a... What's this? I don't know. I believe it's... Oh, it's a, a offsetting fouls. Okay. Which I believe means we're just going to Play continue. Off. Yeah. Turnover stance. Mueller throw go. It's great movement. Looking upfield, she nods. Nice undercut here. Pick. Uh, there's pick called. Who's Gun number eight? Ladies gun show. You know what? Oh, sorry. Testing uh, your memory yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she's not on there. I uh, know. When it's you said tick, I actually thought um, she reminded me a bit of tink. Tink. Oh, ting, ting. Do Is you mean tink or tink? Ting. Tink. 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 From Melbourne. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Quick, fast, really like um, catchy, you know. Yeah, super catchy. Super catchy. <laughs> Mueller in a, not a lot of Ooh. space. Great dump that defense. That was a hard shot. Very hard shot. All right, New Zealand. Another Crosby chance. Crosby picking it up again. Looking straight away. Just Oof. great grab coming through. Number 18, Liddell. Boom. Crosby to Liddell. So that's New Zealand up 12-6 now. And uh, the gap with, uh, with only just over 10 minutes until time cap. Certainly looks like it's getting a little bit out of Australia's reach. But some really athletic plays there from New Zealand to keep that alive. Some of those grabs we saw, uh, yep. really impressive. Another one at the end. That lateral cut was really good. Got some great separation. And such a hard cut to catch it with the away hand oh, on that yeah. flick side. Yeah, not Absolutely. Uh, much harder than it looks, And but uh, she made it look easy. I know. That point specifically, the um, New Zealand team just seemed so confident. Like they just picked it up and threw it straight away. Unfortunately, the first one didn't quite work out for them, but um, it was just that confidence with the disc. Like we want to win this game. Yep. And you certainly have to say it's the maybe the thing that's killing the Aussies at the moment is just those almost unforced errors or New Zealand yeah. New Zealand feels like they're coming down with more of them exactly and some of that's chance but uh, some yeah. of it's hitting their hands and just kind of fumbling out unfortunately yeah which you know it's going to happen but uh, yep. it w it'll hurt you in the long run and the short term <laughs> <laughs> that's true both alright so there's a zone here yeah another zone defense one right. thing the Aussies are doing so well is working it through the the fence. Um, that movement is just opening up a lot of space for them. Quick movements through that. Through that. Wow. Zone. Oh my God. That, that was uh, 88. No, 38. 38. Sorry. Sweet grab. And uh, she's now on the end zone line. New Zealand's still sort of keeping with the zone. They're just trying to cause a bit of chaos now. They've gone to match. Oh, match. And, and hey, no, it might be enough. It's got to go up. And it does. Banks gets it. Surveys the field. Carpenter's going into that front of the corner. Cheeky flick Ooh, blade. That was so almost visionary, that honestly. It was right in the visionary I window. I loved that blade look, yeah. seriously. And With this kind of wind, that was so... And, and that's one of those unforced errors you were talking about, that's unfortunately. Exactly it. That's exactly it. Palmer, fortunately, can't reel it in. So New Zealand, once again... Oh, oh, turn around. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, smart move by Shannon Carpenter there. <laughs> just uh, Risner couldn't quite get onto it quick enough. Yeah, Risner did a good job of trying to pretend it wasn't coming, <laughs> but didn't quite manage it. Oh, got a hand to that one. Yeah, couldn't repeat the same feat of that excellent grab on the first one. But, yeah, Australia getting disc to hand in the end zone, but yep. not closing them around it. So here we go, New Zealand showing a, almost a side stack situation. They've got two isolated cutters. Uh, yeah. They're just giving number 16 a lot of space. 
Oh, oh. oh yeah. Did look like a little bit of resistance as 38 ripped it there. But we've had a few of these today. A lot of very close strip calls as we watch it again on the replay. Uh, yeah. 16 comes under. I mean, hard to tell. Obviously, 16's got the reach, but uh, number 38 was coming in out. So, out. So, we'll set up again. Stalls coming in on three. They hit their dump. 16 again, isolated. Ooh, hit her hands and unfortunately yeah, went good through. Pressure applied by two Australian defenders. Mm -hmm. And it'll be Reeve. Jeez, you think she wants this inside, don't you? Mm -hmm. Classic. And there it is. She's got such a great look. Beautiful. Oh, and such amazing spirit, honestly. Reeve giving the New Zealand girl a high five and a hug. I just, like, she's such an exemplary player and such a, a really great spirit of the game player as well. Agreed. One of uh, Australia's, Australian Ultimate's brightest up-and-coming stars, oh, yeah. I would say. And, uh, and Chanstrom did a great job there of uh, securing it. Yep. Uh, in a little bit of traffic, but uh, she knew exactly what Reeve was looking for. So, here we go, folks. Uh, as, we get, as we inch closer to time cap, it'll be Aussies now. Look, it's, uh, as in the words of, uh, of Mike Neal, it's got to be now. <laughs> I have heard that he has said that before. Mm. Oh, man. And uh, Legendary, that guy. It's true. He is a legend of the game. And uh, he's the reason uh, a lot of people have played. It's true. Starting to play. Yep. And uh, and who can blame them? And uh, but it, it's up to the Australians now. It's twelve seven. This is a must win if they want to retain. If they want to win the uh, the Trans Tasman I series. Actually, I heard that if you just score point after point, mm -hmm. you end up winning the game. So if they could score this point and then the next point and then a couple points after that. That's really it could be theirs. Well, let's see. Let's see if the theory be bears, uh, bears fruit. It's just a theory. All right, 18, looking up line. Oh, Mueller. And Mueller, again, she's just anticipating in that space, and it's really good heads up. Oh, beautiful leading pass nice there. Nice grab. 57. Here we go. This is the looking for the around dump. It's where and they've come up. up line dump. It's where they've come undone here, but Reeve. Oh sensible. my goodness! Did you just say sensible? Oh wow! But to I mean, Mueller, wow! You, if you had, if you had Mueller streaming to that back corner of the end zone, you'd <laughs> totally. probably throw it as well. Yep. Oh, and Mueller again with the block. Yes, with, with seriously, the she's just coming through all over the place in that backfield. That's why on a zone, she is such a great deep player because she's really good heads up. That's what you uh, see it again. This pass just sails over the top. Oh, the, after this one, it's this one yeah, that sails over the top, yep. and Mueller makes the call, Mueller's gets the there. block. Mueller and Reeve both have some really good spatial awareness on their defense. So true. Beautiful up the line pass, and as we make it ahead, see Reeve. Wow, to see that pass and to be able to throw it, yeah. that needed to be zippy. That needed to be shapey. Yep. It was both of those things. And Mueller had no problem catching it. Oh, no. No problem, Bob. Not a worry. So. We're 73 minutes in. That's true. And it's uh, four points is the gap. <sighs> it's a tough one. It is a tough uh, call for the Australians. But, hey, we've seen them get two points real quick here. If they can get a few more before time cap gets on. It's maybe not totally away Yeah, one-handed catch by Crosby. <laughs> Bala. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> no biggie. No big deal. Uh-oh. Excitement on the sideline again. Really G's the Aussies up. This is Zhao. Looking for uh, Mercer. Great dump cut by Crosby. 62's coming back. Crosby's not looking at There's her at field. all. Reeve, again, classic Reeve Mueller move. That's a yes from just, Reeve. Just a heads up defense. 
So, but uh, chooses not to pick it up. Leaves it with Banks, and you have to think that Reeve is going to have a crack at this one. Oh, and makes a beautiful jinky undercut. Sells her defender up the line. Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful shot by Reeve. Oh, yes. yes. Great cut. Turns around and catches it. That is an awesome grab. The first cut from Reeve, so good. Mm. Like, uh, just to put a defender on the back foot as we watch it again. Everybody thinks Reeve's going to go deep. <laughs> Sends the defender with a nice shimmy shuffle. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. And the New it Zealanders. it. And uh, made sure of. Wow. Was not going to leave that one to chance. You know what I do love? The Aussies have not lost hope at all. If anything, this is getting them more excited. Yeah. They don't care that they're down. They are keen beans. So New Zealand calls a quick timeout. Hmm, interesting. I mean, smart move here. You're near the end of the game. You, the clock, uh, the clock's against Terra. But the beauty of our game, of course, Geo. Yep. You always got to score the last point. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless there's a hard cap. <laughs> <laughs> the, the soft caps mean you always have to score the last point. Yep. You only just realizing yep. this? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, we have a soft cap and a hard cap? Yeah, no, it's just a soft cap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, it means that, you know, the clock matters. I'm new but, here. but But the clock matters, but it's not the be all and end all. You could score the fifth, you could go 14 zip, mm -hmm. score 15 points to win a game in a row. It could happen. It never has. Absolutely. But it could happen. How do you know it never has? I'm sure I know. it has. Some things I just know in my waters, you know. Okay. <laughs> so um, you said Palmer, Jody Palmer, is another coach as well. Is she head coach with Cron? Uh, no, I didn't say Jody Palmer was. Oh, sorry. Coaching. No, you did earlier. I, I don't think uh, Zia Palmer is coaching. Oh, sorry. Uh, Anna Haynes. I mean Sarah Perkins. Oh, Sarah bad. Perkins. Sorry. Yes, yes, yes. Sarah Perkins, who's not here today. No. Okay. But yes, a former Is player, she and she's now. Um, okay. So she's co-coaching with. Um, That's correct. Cool. And um, yeah, Maddie O'Connor also involved. You can see her standing with the girls. Yeah. So timeout wraps up. <laughs> And um, we are coming back here, bringing this game from beautiful Balmain Road Sports Field. Spirits are high with these Aussies. Yeah, they're fired up. But New Zealand has displayed a lot of class, a lot of... Um, they're consistent, that's ex for sure. Exactly. So they'll be Consistently calm, cool, collected. That's it. That was a zinger of a pull. Got there in the end. And, um, oh, Aziz is doing, doing his own. 19 has it. Parsons. Again. Crosby. Oh, that's a nice gap through the middle. To Sividinic. To 14, which was Doyle. Now to Crosby. Oh, yes, Blade. Purposeful. To Parsons. One pass away here. Persons has it on the front of the end zone. Very, very conservative, decisive decisions. And um, oh, bit of a discussion maybe now about whether she brought tape up. Mm, yeah, certainly that was a little bit debatable, actually. Certainly Not that I have best perspective, but let's just see a quick replay here. Certainly you can see there's a bit of wiggle oh. on that tape as she goes. And it's just about... Uh, ah, zing! It's, that's a line ball. Of course, it's also worth noting that... It's a that, hard one. Oh, it's a real tough one. If she, if she doesn't make contact with the ground before she catches it inbound, mm. she retains her out-of-bounds status. That's true. So jumping from out to in... But they've gone with a goal. And just, again, really excellent spirit being yeah. displayed. 
this in, both in terms it could have gone either way. It really could have, but I, I think um, the Aussie girls have really brought through some great spirit. Yeah, it's nice to see. And just, you know, retracted yeah. calls, open discussions. Uh, we've just we've seen it all here today, and it bodes well for the future of Australian Ultimate. Absolutely. I think Aussies have always been known for being really well-spirited, um, fair-minded. Most I of us, at least. <laughs> Most of us. Most of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying previously uh, oh, in other countries I'm from. You're one of us now, Gia. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I was really surprised when I first got here how polite people were on the field and how nobody yelled at anyone or mm. cussed at them. So it's really lovely, lovely group of people. And the uh, siren there that we soft just heard. Soft cap? Was that the soft cap? That's, that's cap. So this means we're going to play this one out okay. and it will either be game to 14 if... Uh, Australia scores, or it will be game to 15 if New Zealand scores. So not, um, it will be interesting to see Australia, this will be a big nice difference. Ball. Nice ball, gets the end zone. Caught nicely here, moved quickly. Oh, just over 19's head. Unfortunate, and um, Terra is choosing to to bench that Holy Trinity for this point. Although, no, their Banks is there, of Banks course. To, um, oh, Crosby. Crosby's been a linchpin for this New Zealand team. Really good inside forehand. Wow, you know, I noticed the New Zealand players really dig into their throws. They get down low and they throw with purpose. Another great example there into the end zone. Yep, beautiful pass. So, Gio, we're yeah. playing as advertised to 15. It's a 14-9. Excellent. And uh, so uh, Mercer caught that goal. Yes, nice. Wow, yeah. wowza. It's a game to 15. Yeah, big mountain for the Australians to climb, certainly, but not, not unheard of, not, and not impossible, not insurmountable. The surmounting, <laughs> not at all. I mean, their name means land, so that's true. It's true, the old Zealand. Yes, uh, Mercer, who caught that goal, she's a back-to-back -back national schools champion uh, at Auckland Grammar in ultimate, so. Whoa. Yeah, but the uh, the Auckland Grandma girls, intimidating bunch. Dang. So it will be Australia on offense. New Zealand now. Game point. The opportunity to take this game 15-9 and indeed Geo take yeah. the Trans Tasman series. Whoa. Bring what I presume is what's the what's the reward? I presume a giant trophy. Okay. I haven't seen. I heard it. it was a statue. <laughs> oh, nice! Erected in the town square. Yeah, made out of ice, in the face of all the players. <laughs> that would be epic. But there's epic. a foul here. Foul call. Always watch it again on replay. Oh, bit of content going through. Tough one, almost mm. a, almost a mid D pick. Yeah. Situation. But you know uh, what? When the girls play Scrabble tonight, they are gonna have to use Tempestuous. Oh yeah, it's, it's a hard one a to use. Sure winner. <laughs> yeah. If you can get Stuus on the end <laughs> of Tempest, then that's probably the only way to do it. But get that on a triple word score. My God. My God. Game over. <laughs> that's all right. You know, it would be cool is if um, whoever won Scrabble tonight actually won the trans <laughs> thing. What hey, is man, this? Trans Atlantic. Trans, trans Tasman. That's trans the Tasman. Okay. She, she, see the shining sea. Okay, so Australia gets it back. Take two. Holly Reeve makes shores, shores of it this time. Mm -hmm. Nice under to Carpenter. Carpenter's got an up the line to Palmer. Moving in flow nicely now, the girls. Palmer holds it up. It's another up the line. No. Oh, she's just towing the line there, so she's taking it out. Yep, and Love we're going to have... 
Their just, whole team is in one half the field. Wow, Imagine. and in fact, that's yes. fine. They only used that one sixteenth of the field, and my god, it worked. <laughs> that's right. If and now it's 10-14. There you go, 10-14. So, New Zealand. It's not over till it's over. That's it. They will have five, count them, five opportunities to... Uh, Potentially, yes. ...to win the Trans-Tassie. As we watch it again. Ice bubbles it almost in the field, not quite. Do we actually have any players from Tasmania? Uh, there are no Tasmanian players, to the best of my Ooh. knowledge, unfortunately. But, that's uh, interesting. That's not to say that we don't know about them. And if thanks to anybody who is watching in Tasmania. Bring your players out. Yeah. We want your repping. We'll take them. So. New Zealand girls. Some of the stars of the team on the field here. Yep. Sivanovic. Sever, what up to do? <laughs> Crosby. Crosby, of course. Forsyth as well for the New Thompson. Zealanders. Yep, Forsyth with her epic rose. I wonder if she uh, got that done locally. New yeah. Zealand. Yeah, I would love to find out the, which, what hairdresser did that. To be honest, last time I had cornrows, I had to go to Mexico for them. Wow. Well, there They're you not go. illegal, but... <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> different time in the early 2000s. So. That's right. <laughs> We're like the 90s. All right, Crosby pulling it up. Looking upfield. Inside, Boom. floaty forehand to Thompson. Another forehand. Oh, nice grab by Parsons. Calls. Trans Tasman oh victory. Oh my God. And she grabs it. That is a stellar Woo. way to finish. Risner. She just, they love holding on to that disc. Nobody spikes it. Well, hey, if it's, if that's. Take it home. It's yours. You won it. That's the Trans Tasman winning disc right there. There we go. So and great that's game. the ball game. Great game from New Zealand. As I said, just calm, consistent. Hit those options. Yep. Just, yeah. And certainly, whereas the Australians were a bit tempestuous, the, uh, the New Zealanders showed a lot of... Uh, a lot of vision. A lot of vision. A lot of consistency. As we watch and the final um, goal. It'll be really interesting to see how these girls do in the end at uh, the World Championship, Junior Worlds. Um, hopefully they get, to, they get to face each other again. And um, yeah. I think... And you get a sense tomorrow is going to be, even though it's going to be a dead rubber, you sense it's going to be a good game. The Australians are not going to want to go 3 0 down. Absolutely. Going to put it all in the field. So thank you for joining us today here at, um, in Balmain. And uh, thank you to our sponsors. Yeah, thank you to Discraft 5 Ultimate who are doing all the work and to all the great uh, the boys uh, with the cameras. They'll be back here tomorrow. Amazing uh, camera work. We hope, Visionary. We hope that you will be too. Uh, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Ciao for now.